हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई विल डिस्कस एंड डिफाइन व्हाट इज मैरिज इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट व्हेन वी आर सीइंग मैरिज फॉर एस्ट्रोलॉजिकल प्रोडिक्शंस एंड अदर थिंग्स आल्सो सो मैरिज इज एसोसिएशन ऑफ टू पीपल टू स्टार्ट अ फैमिली टुगेदर दीज टू पर्सन कैन बी ऑफ अपोजिट सेक्स ऑल्सो एंड सेम सेक्स ऑल्सो मीन मेजोरिटी केसेज इट इज opposite sex only in rare cases it can be same sex also but the thing is two persons will start a family together on that day and society will endorse this particular relationship so when marriage is being done so society comes and blesses or endorses that particular relationship now during this a respectable person especially a religious one endorses this this is our ritual so in case of mohammedan religion so it is the qazi who does this ritual so he ask the boy whether you accept this girl as wife or not so the boy has to say three times kabool hai or i accept same way the girl has to accept and she has to say three times so it is because the qazi or the religious person has to be sure that is obviously the life of two persons and during that time the qazi is not alone the girl and the boy are sitting with the parents and the other people who are the friends or the relatives or the society now same is with christianity the father ask the boy whether you accept the girl as wife or not same way girl is asked whether you accept the boy or the bridegroom as the husband or not so when both says yes then they are told that both of, both of you are now husband and wife and we see in movies they say now you can kiss now coming on to sikh religion it is the same the both boy and girl have to go to the gurudwara for the endorsement of the marriage and the obviously other social uh, society or the parents relatives are with the boy and the girl the bride and the bridegroom same way is in jews marriage and in hindu marriage pandit ji is allowed or given the uh not the chance uh, he takes up the lead and he is given the authority to tell whether these are husband or wife or not so he, these uh, pandit ji the ritual is a bit different and lengthy in case of hindu uh, religion or hindu dharma rather that the pandit ji first calls the boy and explains what is marriage that what is your role in marriage what is your role as a husband that you have to spend or you have to earn it is will not be the it will not be the uh, responsibility of the girl to earn secondly you have to give her social security financial security you will have to uh, tell her where you are going where you are coming from you will be having same standard as that of girl it is not that you are wearing better clothes and taking better food etc so you will be keeping her with the same standard you will respect her in front of everybody don't disrespect neither her not her relatives etc same is told to the girl other than the financial and the social security although what i feel is social security is more in the hand of the girl than that of boy that if girl disrespects his her, her husband then the husband is uh then the husband in the eyes of the people is goes down more than that of the wife and same way if your wife respects your relatives etc only then you will have a better understanding and better bonding and better 
status in the society if your wife doesn't respect then it their social status and social respect goes down then what i want to say this wife is also told her duties during wife and husband is also told her duties during the marriage or married life and when both of them agree and understand what their be role as husband and wife now pandit ji says now you both are husband and wife now this is all about what is marriage but when i go on to the so astrological circles talk to astrologers see some books on astrology they are doing they are saying bizarre things they are saying that there is a demon marriage there is a pishach marriage means pishach means the when the girl is raped this is pishach marriage so it is rape it is not it is not marriage same way when the girl is uh having love with someone and then they marry uh separately not in front of people or society so this is really live in relationship they are living together but society either doesn't know or they don't take the endorsement from the society so they say it is arsh vivah so it is not a vivah it is not a marriage it is live in relationship or combination of mistress same way they will say there is a deviva means if the girl is given to some pandit ji then it is uh, the, uh, then it is deviva i'm sorry i need a correction here so uh, there is one called gandhar viva so it live in relation with gandhar viva not the arshiva so arshiva is the girl is given to a sanyasi to make the sanyasi a married man so if you are making sanyasi a married man or not it is marriage only gandhar viva is live in relationship it is not marriage so we we have must be very much clear what is marriage all about marriage is two persons of opposite sex to start a family together and this particular relationship is endorsed by the society that's all so this is what is all about what is marriage and the other type of marriages as written in the books etc they are not marriage at all thanks for watching the video and having and getting the clarity about marriage thanks a lot thank you very much